Well, we are back at Tokyo Driving Park Yamagiwa for the next installment of the BMW M4 League Lobby 2 Drivers. This should be for the moment of the BMW M4 League Lobby 2 Drivers. Well, can soon see Nafi the Alien. Had a good running last week, took two out of two. But Chalk took pole in this one, seems to be a favourite of his around here. He's done it in the McGann's last season. He had a good run in there, he's got some good lines through here, Chalk. If you um, want to get involved in the McGann's, you can check us out on Facebook. We'll search for Next Gen, still taking sign ups right now. But as we go, we've got Chalk on pole, Nafi in second, Gino Demer in third, Silver Fox falling. Nice to see him back on the track in uh, in fourth. And we've got Deaton Piper in fifth, Next Gen Dominator in sixth, Danzo in seventh, and Decast 16. He is in eighth. This should be fun. Let's see how we go. Very quick circuit, only one technical part of the circuit. Time penalties can be uh, easily caught here, as we've seen last season but in the Megans. But this is the BMW M4 League. Let's crack on. Brought to you by Gino Demo. Sponsored by Next Gen. It's go time. Get these camera angles right. Here comes the numbers, here, well here come the lights even, that's Jack's line, I do apologise, but we're away. Chalk leading is off the start, Nafi got a run, he's going to tuck him down and slip. Gino will follow him through, we're going to come back down there like that. Chalk leading into the first corner, Nafi close on his bumper, followed by Gino Demo. Then we've got D10 Piper following Gino through there, this is a good slipstream to get around here, coming through this section. Dominator on the back of uh, Danzo there in a beautiful Viking ribbon, very shiny, very nice. But let's get back up the front, see how these are doing. Coming into another quick left hander, Chalk will be leading the way. Nafi is very close here. D10 Piper up the inside, so Gino run wide there. D10 will say thank you as he runs wide over the rumble strip. That's when the second with the car. That won't do him any favours. Danzo will have to run down here on the inside. We've got D cast there running up in six. Biffed up in seventh. Silver Fox Ford is dropped down to eighth. Dominator had a nightmare down in ninth. Naffy throwing one up the inside into the ear pin left. Chalk will just have to back in. Following through. Gino in third, back where he was. Danzo in fourth, followed by D Tan Piper. This is going to be a close one with these. Oh, Naff just caught Naffy gaining all kinds of sideways. Chalk will be coming up the inside. Might go for the switch back. Looks like he's gone for it. These locks are going to go conger a congressant meal. Gino following on in third. The slipstream works wonders down here. If you're brave enough on the brakes, you can take a wide line and cut back through this section, but they seem to have all uh, navigated that quite well. The slipstream here. This chalk is right on the back door. He wants to stay there coming through this section, but just as we come over the brow, this is where you want to be right on the rear wing. You want to go, Naff is going defensive down here. This is where Chalk make a move on the inside. Nafi will hold it around the outside, might run a bit deep. But Chalk holding that tighter line. Gino Demo's not giving him no way, no way of uh, escaping. He's hanging on. D10 Piper back up to fourth. And Danzo in fifth. D cast is in sixth. Silver Fox 40 is seventh. Dominator is eighth. Make a move on fifth or somewhere. We haven't seen it. He'll be going for Silver Fox. And Biff to there will be. Uh, Hoping to keep on the back of the ring of Dominator and Silver Fox. Back up front, Naff is pulling a little gap here. The alien driver. Good run out last start last week. Different different uh, race, different uh, 
set of wheels last week, he was on fire. But, you know, chalk for a dab band around this circuit, he will um, give it his all, the chalk. Gino Demo hanging on there compared to last week. He didn't seem to have the legs last week, but he's hanging on in third. Decast and. Where's Deton Five? Decast is up to fourth. Danza is up to fifth. Silver Fox Ford is fifth. This is all gone screw with. Let's see how these go. Silver Fox has got Danza all over his back door, and Dominator is up to seventh. Where's Piper? I think Piper's gone off. I think Piper's had a mirror in his bright livery in a Commodore. And it's very fetching. Yeah, I think uh, these two... I think D10 Piper made a mistake. His uh, dancer is looking around the outside of Silver Fox for the deer. He should get a longer run out the start of the year. He should be uh, able to slip him down into this... Uh, where he could easily get a penalty from here. Yeah. If you go wide, get it all kinds of wrong. Yeah, got it sideways there on the curb. That's gonna oh oh dear, got it sideways. That's that's dominate. That's just a racing incident. Got Danzo caught the curb, sent his car twitching his left and right, and just caught Dominator on the way through. That was just a racing incident. But back up the front, Naffy and Chalk, they're giving it their all. Chalk Biden is time to stay in that slipstream. Gino Dem is there as well. Silver Fox Ford is not, well, I say not too far as we see Decast running a little kind of sideways there in the Avengers livery. Very striking as well. Very nice. Silver Fox be pushing, catching him to the top three. Gonna be a good thing though. Gino Dem at Chalk. Naffy, Chalk's going up the inside of Naffy here. Nafi will tuck back in, I should imagine, follow the strip scene through the uh, through the left right section of this track. Sorry if I sound a bit crap today, I have got a touch of a corner, but I'm doing my best. There we be yep. Nafi got a good run out of the asses there. He's gonna come down the inside. And that's my phone. We don't wear it out there in the phone. Not very professional. We'll still be there, we'll tuck in. This fight's going to go to the end, I think, because the qualifying chalk was only four tenths quicker than Nafi around this circuit on a single lap pace. But Nafi will just keep him honest, keep it straight. Chalk, Gino will be there as well. Let him scrap. Why them two are scrapping, he'll be catching. Silver Fox 40 there as well in fourth. Nice to see him back on track. Nice to have him back. There's D class, D10 making up the the uh, places that he needs to in this championship 15 7 dominators in 8 Danzo I think waited for dominators there. I think he thought it was his fault but got the car all kinds of wrong and just caught dominator there so these two push and pull each other along for the circuit they're sure to catch up they're not too far off the pace but these two having a right good scrap Chalk picked up a penalty he's got half a second to deal with you can lose a penalty following another car you just don't have to drive as fast, just like the car will pull you along. I learnt that the hard way, myself. But a little technique, if you don't know it. It's good to know. And yeah, yeah, I see this one going to the wire. We're on lap five. Let's see what we're hitting through here. 128, 129. Good carrier speed through there. Chalk will be uh, hanging on. Gone purple Naffy in that sector. Chalk will be throwing it down the inside. No, really, no. Not quite, not quite. Just tuck back in, go again. By the time. Gino running well in third. Silver Fox. D10 Piper. I think he's had a wobble. D class is catching. The back up the front. Oh yes, he's still still going back to front. As Zelda, I'm sure Chalk was running the Dragon Ball Z every last week. Uh, fancies uh, some something a bit more mythical. Must be an omen that with uh, doing running well with three temps faster. 
gone blue. It's not purple, but it's a blue, so he's improving. He needs to sort that penalty out before the end of the race, though. It's going to be a good run, isn't it? Let's just run through the field and see where we all are. I say we've got Naffy leading the way. This is just going to be a slipstream train from first to third. Uh, Gino and Terry will be tracking short. Naffy just pulling out, trying to break that tail from short, which I think is working quite well. Silver Fox isn't too far behind if uh, they're not congregate on each other. Decast is staying with the ten Piper. Good wing to follow for the pace at D10. There's Dominator and Danza very striking the rear. And then we've got Bifter hanging on to the back of these as well. Having a good race. Points are points at the end of the day, and they're all showing that. I think Chalk's just fell off the pace a bit there, because Gino is catching Chalk. Ooh, as I say, that runs wide off the corner there. Not doing many favours, that. Come through the left, right. The uphill section, you want to stay in fourth. You only change gear too early there, so you'll lose speed coming up that way when you're changing gear. Don't count him out yet, he will be there. Chalk does fancy herself around here. And the second place we've got Grumble, because Nathy, we thought was an alien driver, is not escaping. Everyone was saying earlier on, could be champ favourite in the rum lobby, but Chalk giving him a run for his money around here today. We will see all about it. Chalk caught up plenty through there. This will slip. Is he going to try and break the slip? I don't think he will. Yeah, a bit of weed in there. Chalk was going to follow him there. See if he makes a move. He's not going to make a move yet. But if he hangs on through this S section of the Yamagiwa, and uh, as we go over the barrier, the uh, banner, we should have to move down into the uh, next left, sweeping left. It's closing. Let's see if Naffy goes defensive. Chalk fires it on the outside. Can't turn in on him, Naff. He's going to go on purple sector as well, the Chalk. Two tenths. That's the slipstream as well, open as he throws that good move down the inside there. Is he going to hold on? And now he'll have a slip coming down to this technique. And I say technical bit. It's easy to get wrong. He clipped the curves. It's not going to help you. They both navigate that very well. A bit more curve for enough. Different lines taken through there. How do you like it? These two are going to carry on. Let's have a check on see if we've got any more. Look, Gino then has just dropped off a little bit of that there. Naffy run wide there. We'll get a longer run out of that for running wide, but won't do him any favours. They say Gino Demo hanging on. Good race for Gino this week. Good race. Silver Fox is still in fourth. D10 Piper and Decast having a scrap. Decast looking around the outside here. That's a great move from Decast. Unless D10 Piper made a mistake, but I'm not taking it away from him. That was a fantastic move as D10 Piper gets it all kinds of wrong. Coming out of there, that Commodore 64 not working well tonight. And normally a good wing to follow is D10, but he gets a penalty for running wide there. I've seen it in the McGann's last season. If you get a penalty running wide through there, I'm sure we can scrub that off if he finishes with it. He shouldn't, um, yeah. shouldn't be carrying that. Dominator and Danzo, they're, they're about seven a scrap of their own. Danzo there, the Viking. And Bifta. He did ninth, he'd be happy with the points. But these two up front, Chalk's lost the tenth for that penalty. Needs to lose a bit more. If Naffy stays where he is, he'll win the race with that penalty. Gino as well, not too far behind. This seems to be the... Uh, Fight on circuit, we've got Naffy doing what past this lap is a 139. Chalks are 1397, so five tenths of difference on the fastest lap. So and Chalk, I think it's just making a little move now. He fancies his chances, he's gonna get away from us. Yeah, a bit of crackling there, that's just me over there. Sip of me bike. 
Yeah, it's only my second go at comms, so I'm doing it for the boys. We'll learn as we go on. We'll all sit and enjoy together. Different line taken through there. Naffy got that a bit tired. Chalk got it all kinds of sideways. I don't know what he hit the brake lights for. He was doing it last week, if you noticed, the Chalk. He's resting his foot on the brake and he's just slowing him down when he did it um, around Dragon Trail last week. I haven't done him no favours there, unless he broke to catch the slide, I don't know, but that's going to give Naffy a run again, if he's inside. I wouldn't, reckon, ooh, wouldn't recommend going 2 by 2 for here, but I've seen it done before. There's these two giving each other space. Naffy just wants to tuck back in, might let Chalk go defensive. To say these two are scrapping as well, Gino's falling back a little bit. Just a little bit, might be composing himself to go again. Yeah, chalk, I think he needs to, well, he needs to get rid of that penalty the way these two are going. But Gino's there in third, Silver Fox is still in fourth. Naffy and Chalk not laying it up, bit of a corner cut there from the might be a penalty for that. Maintain it, yeah, and there you go, a one second penalty, it had to be done. Too much of the curb there, all four wheels off the track, that's a penalty. Chalk just needs to uh, keep doing what he's doing. Ooh, his naffy gets it sideways out there, he's pushing the lad, he's pushing. I think the alien's being found out, and that gives Chalk a little breathing space, he'll be like, whew, can breathe. As he runs wide there, oh, he's got it, he's gone! Chalk's binned it! Oh, that's not what we want to say. That's not what we want to say. But he has, he's been it. Naffy then is on his way and up the road. He's been given a gift. It is the final lap and Naffy on the final lap. Chalk binned it again at the background. Naffy burns his penalty to finish first. Dino finishes second. Ickle Silver Fox to finish fourth. Decast. Due to Chalk's mistake, it's going to finish fourth. Silver Fox third, I beg your pardon. And Chalk, after leading the way, going a good run, finishing fifth. Dita and Piper will come home to finish sixth. What are they doing? What's going off? I think did Chalk do? Danzo comes on. What are these two doing? I think Dominic Rick Piper wants to let him go over the line, but he's not giving. They're not... What? If they don't, none of them don't cross the line. Bifta is what Bifta will win. Get the well, world, get seventh if you don't move. Don't, who's moving? Who's moving? Wow. Comedy of errors. Comedy of errors. 